one of the moments in my life, I think for me, that was really striking and that will always stay with me was a few years ago when the refugee crisis first really started coming to light and on the social agenda and awareness where we were all speaking about it. It was happening in Syria and I was approached by a theatre director who was putting a show together called No Borders and lots of uh, writers and artists were coming together to to highlight the stories of people that were go that were refugees and what was happening to try and make it humane because at this point it was just in the media and this dreadful photograph of a boy washed up on the beach was being shared everywhere and we were all just shell-shocked and wondering what what is all this about and what can we do and I'm always aware that I'm not an educated enough person to have a political stand that's my personal belief and that's where I stand but what I asked myself is okay so I don't want to have any input in this way what can I offer um so when this guy approached me I decided that what I could do was try and lend my skill set to the conversation and so I found myself producing music writing music and I collaborated on another song with a, p a pianist and we I wrote the soundtrack for and the soundscape for that um, show and it traveled all over the country and I performed and I I sang at the Everyman and I sang, sang at Smock Alley and it was all voluntary. What struck me was when the show was finished in the Everyman, there was a lady here who had come over with her son who had been involved in the war and had actually been taken hostage for a year. Um, and had, had you know, he, spoke, he was spoken the national press and she didn't have very good English, but he spoke perfect English. And she just held me so tightly after the show and just said she wanted to cook me dinner <laughs> and wanted me to come to her home. And she asked me, how did I understand the sound of her soul? How did I understand how war feels in her heart?